Why am I here? Do I have a reason why I was born? <laughs> uh, is there something more of life? You know, a new flavor? Like, am I just here to work the same job? Sometimes it just bores me to death. Waking up every day, Monday to Monday, doing the same thing over and over. Is there something new about life for me to enjoy? <laughs> Why am I here? Is this, is this something important about me? What's my purpose? <laughs> Was I just here? Did I come on earth to just be born, study, go to school, have kids, maybe have a wife, and then die? Well, it's a boring kind of life, I think. But that's not me asking. That's each one and each and every one of us. We always ask that question. Deep down, there's something that asks, is there more than what I'm doing? Is there more that, than who I am? In other words, what's my purpose? That's what we all ask, you know, from since we were little kids, you know, to now we, some of us are grown-ups, you know, 40, 50 year olds. But the question is, what's my purpose? And today that's our discussion. Man looking for purpose. The problem is we've asked everyone. We've asked our parents, we've asked our teachers, asked books, asked YouTube channels. You know, you go to the YouTube channel and you're searching what's purpose, what's my purpose. Some of us, we don't even know why we are here. But the problem is there's one person or one being that we never stopped and asked. That's God. Question is, if God created me, doesn't he know everything about me? Doesn't he know why I'm here? So if you want to know why you were born, is not God the right person to ask? Just asking. Anyway, that's just me asking. I don't know. But if, you are, if it were me, I think God is the best person to ask. God, why am I here? Because every time we just go to things and people and books and philosophies and theologies, Try find some meaning in our lives. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's only God that made us with a meaning. So let me ask you, look around you. You can see, for example, in this place, I can see plants, I can see, you know, wood. Everything on the world has a purpose. And actually, if you think about it, nothing exists without a purpose. Otherwise, it's just dead. So if a bud and a leaf and oxygen in the air has a purpose and it doesn't even look like God, what about who, who belongs to God, is called of God and was saved by God? You don't just hear, just without a purpose, no? You have, like, there's something in you that God made you to do. There's a purpose, there's something he created you to, to do, some functionality, something in you. But what is that thing? So, the first thing we said, go ask God. Stop asking me, I don't know what you are, you are created to do, I have no idea. If you ask me, I won't even tell you anything. Go ask God. He made you. He's your manufacturer. He knows your... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, do we, do we have serial numbers or serial <laughs> You know the way this phone has a serial number. <laughs> but I don't think we have... But anyway, I think my serial number is... My name belongs to Christ. Ah, that's a cool serial number. You know, like Nathan of Christ. Ah, into that great man. <laughs> so, uh, uh, let's, let's, let's look 
Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1. That's one of my best scriptures because it reminds me who I am in God. So the book of Isaiah chapter number 43 verse chapter number 43 verse verse 1. Okay, so let's let's look at this. The Bible says, But now says the Lord that created you, O Jacob, he that formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name. You are mine. <laughs> so, this is the thing. I want you to, rem to remove the name Israel and Jacob and put your name. So, for example, my name is Nate. People call me Nate or Nathaniel. So, this is how we read it. Now, that says the Lord that created you, Nathan. Yeah? Oh, he that formed you, oh, Nathan. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You're mine. Ha. Okay, if your name is Mary, this is, what, this is what you'd say. But now says the Lord that created you, O Mary, you know, he that formed you, O Mary, fear not, I have redeemed you, you, I have called you, you are mine. So God has called you, has called you, has formed you, and actually, in your mother's womb, he's the one who knit you. Do you know the way women knit sweaters? That's how God knit you in your mother's womb. That's how connected you are to God. He, you are his project. Let nobody ever cheat you. You are God's project. He formed you. He created. He has a reason for you. So if we are God, ladies and gentlemen, go ask God what your purpose is. Stop asking anyone else. Number two. So, we are, we are talking about man searching for purpose. So, <laughs> I told you guys this time we are going to read a lot of Colossians. I don't know, <laughs> a lot of Colossians will be read in this, in this series. So, Colossians chapter number 1, verse 19. Uh, the Bible says, Colossians 1, 19, And it pleased the Father that in him the fullness of everything dwells. This is talking, the, that, that the context is about, the, they are talking about Christi, Christ. That it pleased God that the fullness of everything that exists on earth and in heaven is in Christ. So guys, you feel like your life is kind of empty or short off or it's not as full as it should be. <laughs> your fullness is only in Christ. So you want to get, you want to know how full your gift can be? You want to know how big your knowledge can be? You want to know how full your wisdom can be? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. guys. Just go check out Christ. <laughs> because the fullness of everything, everything is in him. Actually, the Bible says everything in heaven and earth was created for him and by him. How cool is that? How good is it to serve? You know, it's good men to be saved. It's so good. Other, 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 other religions, they have a God who I don't believe created them. Because their God is a wood somewhere, or a cow, or the moon. But man, we have a God who took time to create me and you. Ha! How cool is that? And our fullness is in him. So guys, you want to know your full purpose? Check out Christ. The last verse before I finish, the book of John chapter 15, verse 5. The Bible says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same brings so much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. This is Christ talking. He's saying, he is the vine, we are the branches. Like we are connected to Christ. And when we remain connected to him, we always give so much fruit. And guys, I know, I know you guys want to be 
fruitful in every part of your life. You want to be fruitful in your mental life, in your physical health, in your family, in your job. You want to find fruitfulness in your giftings and your purpose. Hey, the Bible says it's only in Christ that you can bear much fruit. And actually, it finishes by saying, without him, you can do nothing. Absolute nothing. So, I hope guys, you're looking for your purpose in the right place. Please, see you guys. <laughs>